hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button so let's get right into this video i've already applied my tips and now i'm just buffing the nails to remove the shine i also shaped the sides of the nails to get a sharper stiletto nail it's been a while since i've used the nail tips in the length that it came i would usually cut the nail tips and make it shorter to make a shorter stiletto nails or a ballerina nail it makes a difference in the length to be honest because these nails were really long to me so i like long nails but i don't like filing long nails and encapsulating these nails was a lot so i'm just showing all the products i'll be using for this fall nail design and i'll be using my kiara sky liquids today it's been a while since i've used kiara sky so i am applying my bond to dehydrate the nails you can use rubbing alcohol or acetone i'm applying two layers of clear de powder to my nails so i applied base to three quarter of the nail and then i dipped into the clear de powder then i applied base to the whole nail and dipped into the clear de powder this is an optional step Starting on the middle finger, I applied a thin layer of base and dipped into the red acrylic powder. This color is really pigmented, I did 3 layers of that. Now on the pinky nail I'm using this silver glitter from Revel Nail and I did two layers. then i encapsulated both nails i don't like encapsulating red nails it always leaves a white residue on the nail but i had to encapsulate it and i do not remember why because i did this nail design since um june i think and i saved it for fall because it was looking a lot like a fall nail design so that's why i didn't upload it earlier in the year so yeah Anyway, so guys, I read all of the comments for my last video about me getting a practice hand to do some of my nail designs and I do not know why I didn't think about it sooner. It's a good idea for poly gel but not so much for the powder. I don't know if it would work fine or 
if I would get any issues with this because it's not like the practice hand is held on something so every time I try to put one of the fingers in the dip powder um, the hand might move and that can be that can be annoying sometimes depending I don't know if I'm overthinking the situation too I could be overthinking it and it could just be normal but to me a practice hand and the powder I just don't see it but I could be overthinking I also read that the nails come out when filing because i did my research on the practice hands and they said sometimes the nails can come off when filing and that can be annoying too but this is still a good idea i'm not going to lie the problem would be which one to buy now i see the red iguana hand looks really nice but it's 200 dollars. okay what the hell i don't even make that much on youtube <laughs> but it's such a nice hand you know I saw another one on Amazon for $50. It looks aight, but I do not know because I like buying good things so I don't have to buy again. I know eventually I'll have to buy a better quality if I do buy the cheaper one for now. But I also don't want to jump the gun and buy a good quality um, practice hand. You know, YouTube is not paying me that much and then to buy it and not be successful on YouTube that would be so sad <laughs> i have a dilemma a huge dilemma right now i really don't know what i'm going to do okay so as i said in my previous video this month might be the last of consistent upload if your company wants me to upload something in december and it's urgent i might consider it but i can't say if i'll actually do it you never know because i don't really know either i just want a break so that my nails could catch up and my creativity could start flowing so yeah i don't know what i'm really doing but i know i'm not going to be uploading videos that much also let me know what practice hand y'all have in the comments below and leave a link if it's possible i'm hoping to start back consist uh, consistently in february or march because no i think february or i might start i might upload two or three videos in february because you know for valentine's yes and then stop for a little two weeks again and then consistently start in March. Okay, let me stop talking because I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So forget I said that. So yeah. On the ring nail I'm using the French nail cutter so I applied base to the nail bed area then I poured the nude dip powder then I'm using the French nail cutter to shape the nail I did a few layers to build the nail bed area Next, I apply activator. Then I filed the nail bed area into shape.
then i applied tape off camera and using my base liquid i apply it to the nail and poured the silver glitter the powder on the nail i did three layers of that and then removed the tape Next, I applied activator and waited for the nail to harden to begin my filing to get a straight line. I applied tape on the nail bed area to protect it from the red acrylic because this one is very pigmented and will stain the nude area. Next, I applied activate no. Next, I applied base to the tip area and poured the red the powder. I did a few layers of that. Now I encapsulated the index and ring nail. The middle and pinky nail were already encapsulated. Then I applied activator to the nails, waited for it to harden, and then began filing. This is after filing of the nails. And now I'm applying my Mother One's gel glue and gel top coat on the index nail.
and then I placed some rhinestones and cured for 30 seconds. On the middle nail, I'm applying rhinestones to make a French nail tip that's filled with rhinestones. Then I tap coated the ring and pinky nail and cured for 30 seconds. Next, I applied my cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails and this is the finished look. So I really like how these nails came out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys!